Hey, how you doing? It's Rick Claus, Senior Technical Evangelist at Microsoft Canada. This is a screencast of the demos for a session that I presented at TechEd North America, TechEd New Zealand, and TechEd Australia, and it's called Get Out of Dodge, Migrating to Windows Server 2008 R2 X64. In case you're wondering, those codes for North America, WSV310, New Zealand was WSV302, and Australia was SRV307. Want to find out more about me? Check out my main website at regularitguy.com or about.me slash rickclaws. This is demo number three, the print server migration piece. And it's nicknamed the mix of tools, choose your pain. In this case, we're going to be using some built-in print manager tools uh, with the print manager MMC snap-in for my server role. And I'll be doing that from my main home base server of W2K8R2-DC. And once again, my target server is a 2003 system running a couple of print queues that have 32-bit uh, drivers on them. He's called Contoso-FP1. My destination server is currently blank. He is a server 2008 R2 core install, and he's called Contoso-FP1T. Lastly, once again, some proof of the pudding that it worked through my client system, which is running Windows 7 and is named Windows 7 Client. Let's get started. So here we are in our main 2008 R2 domain controller. I'm just going to go ahead and install the role for file and print. In order to have the appropriate tools to be able to do this migration, we're going to be using these tools and not the uh, not the uh, PowerShell based tools. So standard thing to go off and simply install the role, hit finish and install. I'm not going to configure anything on this other than simply using the tools themselves once uh, once it finishes doing the install. Here we go. Let's just minimize this and close it out of the way. And actually fire up that administrative tool that was just installed called Print Manager. On here, it's going to go ahead and add in the existing print manager, or sorry, the existing print server, which is called Contoso-FP1. It's going to allow me to remote administer this box. It's a 2003 system that's running. It has two different printers, as you can see, HP LaserJet 2300 and 2300L, two different drivers, but notice that they're both x86 drivers. So first thing we have to do is install the equivalent 64-bit drivers. Notice I unchecked the x86 driver there. I'm only installing the 64-bit driver from a have disk that I got from the HP website. So I've stored these on my temporary server here called Hyper-V1 slash source slash printers. And then you'll see the list here for the 64-bit printer. There we go. Very important to get the most recent 64-bit drivers. Now there's two of them here. I'm going to load the first one. Hit finish. It's going to copy the files over to that box. And then I need to go in and install the second one as well. You must match up every single 32-bit driver with a 64-bit driver or remove that printer or print driver from the old server. So I'm just going to copy through here the same process and then get that second one, which is that guy right there. Do the install and finish and it copies the files over and then we're basically ready to go for the first part of this migration. Maybe one matches and we're all set. So next up, we have to go through and basically do an export. So we're just going to do an export of printers to a file option. This is going to export uh, the queues, the drivers, and uh, the print objects, and the security ACLs, and everything else. You can see a list of what's going to be exported there. Nice and simple. Hit next. I'm going to save this to my temporary storage of migration server, which I've got set up here as Hyper-V-1 slash migration data slash printers. And then it's going to ask me for a file name, so I'm going to put in a file name of printers and it's going to append on some stuff. Hit next. It goes ahead and does the export. Gets everything all saved. Gets it all set to go. And then the next step is I need to go off and install the appropriate services over on my server core box. So over here in my server core box, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, load the appropriate uh, role 
So I'm just going to do a start OC setup. And I'm going to choose to install my printing option on server core. Again, a little bit of a pause, no error message in case there's, uh, you made a typo, so make sure you're typing correctly. This pause will go through, load the appropriate services, get the role installed, and actually that's about all we have to do on the server core box. Just let me clear the screen there and get back to the other guy to be able to add him in. So here we are back on my server 2008 R2 box. I'm going to add in the new print server called Contoso-FP1T for temporary. Add them off to the list. And then here, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the option to go and import drivers from a file. Point back to that central storage location. Find the individual file. And then go ahead and have it bring them all back in again. Again, your, your mileage is going to vary based on the quality of the printer drivers and the research that you've done. Uh, there's a lot of dependency on the, a lot of dependency on the quality of the drivers and the complexity of the drivers that are being used. Uh, try to find universal drivers will work best for you. Again, go for all the capabilities you have to print to go on to that new environment and you can fix it up and tidy it up later with new driver updates once the migration is done. Now the second part of this migration is going to be the file migration which will involve the renaming of the temporary system so it has the proper name. Currently it still has the uh, FP1T name at the end of it. Now, I did get a warning message here so I'm just going to click the event viewer and take a look at it and it's a single warning message talking about uh, the uh, printer migration wizard had a little bit of an issue with one of the print queues and if I expand on this and open it up it was successfully restored but could not change the location of the spooler folder in case I wanted to put it to a different location so it's just giving me a little bit of a warning message that it will be using the default uh, spooler folder location and that if I'd have to go in and manually change that if I wanted to uh, after the fact. I'm keeping the defaults I'm going to keep it all the same thing that's here so let's go ahead and now take a look at this from the client perspective over here on my Windows 7 box. Here's my Windows 7 client. From a command prompt, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the net view of the old server, Contoso-FP1. And you can see that I have both disk and printing, HP marketing, HP sales listed. The temporary server has a new queue for HP marketing and HP sales, basically brought across.